War, war is stupid. Remember, war, war is stupid. Remember that yes, song? Yes. What? Well, it's true, isn't it? I mean, yes. I'm not true. disagreeing. It's a catchy little song. It's true. Was that was that your solo career, or was that with Culture Club? That was kind of towards the end of Culture Club. Okay. <laughs> That was one of the final nails in the coffin. Right, right. <laughs> um, there were a few finer moments than that, though. War, war, stupid, and people... Why do you always pick the worst song? No! I, it, it's not my favourite song, but it is... It's not my favourite song either. <laughs> I have to tell what you. What is your favourite song? Uh, time don't... Clock of the Heart, Church of the Boys of Mind. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What's the one? How does the time, the time clock go? Time will give me time, blah, That's blah, the best blah, one. Yeah. That's the best <laughs> Time will give me time. I just got a very long flight. I'm not right. even going to try and sing it. Tell, let's talk about your look. It changes a lot, right? Yeah. And, and uh, the, the great David Bowie, is that the big influence? Well, that kind of started for me when I was about, I think, about 11 years old. I went to uh, my first Ziggy Stylist concert. Oh, and, wow. Uh, you're not supposed to go when you're 11. Well, my parents didn't want me to go, but um, I went anyway. There you go. And uh, it was a very sort of life-changing thing for me because I lived in suburbia, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Some of you do. I grew up in suburbia. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just... <laughs> I went, my, when I was 12, I waited a year, and I went to see the Osmonds. Oh, yeah. look. <laughs> Nothing happened. See, I just... It's not quite the same I thing, I know. Though. That's, you know... Well, they did have those very nice white flared suits, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Sort of an old yeah. yeah, yeah. And they had lovely teeth as well. Yeah, beautiful teeth. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, we... But Bowie was a different thing, because, you know, I sort of grew up in this very small sort of neighbourhood, and everybody knew your business, and, mm -hmm. you know, it was kind of quite... A grey place. Yeah. So David Bowie was. <laughs> yeah. Grey. You gray know, place, all right? the houses look the same. Exactly. Same curtains. You know, same. And then Bowie, boom. Bowie came. Shocked you. Changed my life. And did you ever meet him and thank him? I met him two years ago for the first time. Are you kidding was, me? You yeah. never met him until two years no. ago. I once passed him in an airport in Australia, but I was too embarrassed to speak to him. Uh huh. But then I finally met him. I went to see him with Nine Inch Nails about two or three years ago in New York. And, and was, he, he's cool, right? He, he was adorable. Yeah, yeah. He was yeah. adorable. <laughs> Funny. Well, they, they, they think, they, now let's take a look. Let's look at some pictures of you. Oh, that, that is you. That's me as Bowie. Yeah, as, as Bowie, how old are you there? 14, 15. 14 or 15. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. That's what we know from the 80s, right? That's, well, that's a little bit older. That's about 17. Okay. And then... Uh, I like that look. What about this? Uh, that's sort of culture club, height of culture club. How old are you there? Uh, about 22, maybe, 22. 21. Now, we also have pictures of me first, I believe, in junior high. <laughs> that's me. In, that's me. That's, that's, I think, eighth grade. Eighth grade, spring, spring. Went through a little... That's me in uh, college. <laughs> out of the frat house. And then this is what I look like in 15 years, I think. George Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you see, you know... You're one of those lucky people. You were born handsome. Oh. I was born quite plain, so I've spent my life making myself more exotic. Now, that's interesting, because uh, when, in the 70s, when we, when we were listening to Elton John, when, he, when all those great songs came out, uh, he had the, the really loud glass, all the sunglasses and stuff, yeah. but he was already kind of plain looking when we saw him without that. He was always plain looking, wasn't he? Uh, I'm not going to say that on national American TV. <laughs> no, one's, no, one, no one will see this, George. No one Elton will. <laughs> Elton watches everything. Now, I like Elton. I mean, he looked good when he dressed up as a duck. Do you remember he dressed up as a duck? Yes, I do. That was quite a good thing. Yeah, look. that was bizarre, and that was... I wouldn't do that, though. No. Because it no. sort of makes your bum look bigger. Make, you see? <laughs> you got to you think. Uh, you're, you're writing a musical? Uh, I've been working on a musical, yeah, which hopefully will go into production in November this year. And it's a musical about sort of early 80s, all these kind of exotic creatures from London who... The some music of the 80s? Uh, yeah, some of it's 80s, mm -hmm. but it's all new songs, but it's in, in that oh, sort of style. So it's not yeah. about... Because I love the 80s. I like the psych furs and all that. It's not about that. No, it's more about sort of electro music and it's more about families and relationships and kind of okay. homosexuals and lesbians and confused oh, people. wholesome... And, yeah, yeah okay. it's, <laughs> it's real family... Kind no, of it's a love story. Or... No, it's, it's really family entertainment. I mean, every house has a homosexual now. Every house does? I mean, you're not... <laughs> You're not fashionable unless you have a homosexual or a lesbian now. You're probably right. I'm, I gotta, I gotta get with some things here. You I should, gotta, you, should, I gotta, you should absolutely go out and buy one now. They are, are they, they're for sale. Apparently, yeah. There you go. See? I don't want to. Uh, well, I am. Well, <laughs> I want you to stay with us. Five questions with Boy George when we come back. Listen to the, you listen to the new stuff, what do you think? You like anybody? You like Dido? Uh, yeah, she's all right. I know her brother, actually. Do you? He's very famous in England. He's called Rolo. 
Is that right? Yeah, really, he is. What does Rollo do? Uh, he's a very big dance music producer right. in a band called Faithless, big band in England. I love Dido. Yeah, she's nice. Yeah. I mean, I met her once. You met her once. I actually met her just before she came to America to break it, and she, yeah. she's broke it. Yeah, she's good. She's good. I'm impressed. <laughs> you like, what about the other? What about uh, Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera? Woo! Prefer Joni Mitchell, really. Oh, there you go. Yeah. 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 She was a sexy tart. No. Well, no, but she's... No, she was a songwriter. She was great. She, she's a fantastic songwriter. I mean, Britney's all right, but yeah. it's not for me, really. Right. And what about the, the boy bands? I like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one from, uh, one from NSYNC with the nose. You know, JC, he's gorgeous. Really? But, I mean, you know. I like the... I like... <laughs> I, like Marilyn Man I like Marilyn Manson. Yeah. 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 I think he's the best-looking pop star in America. How quickly you forget Alice Cooper. And Missy Elliott. I like Missy Elliott. OK. <laughs> uh, uh, what did I want to ask? Do you have a tattoo? I have one on my neck. <laughs> see? You see the tattoo? Oh, you get, there's a nice one. Now, I have just a little tattoo. I don't know if you can see it. They can get a shot of this right here. Little, there. See it there? A little tattoo? <laughs> a little tattoo. <laughs> Very cute. I don't know what I wanted to ask you. Now, they say I can ask you just about anything, right? Well, well, but this is not... I mean, if I don't answer, don't I don't answer. answer. I, I, I'm, I'm, like I'm not a... precious about questions. Right. I was always wondering, um, when you were... You, uh, financially, some of the guys uh, uh, struggle with their money, they didn't save it. Are you doing... You're doing well financially, right? I work very hard. Oh, you do? So, yeah. so you still... So you make, you make a lot of money in the 80s, or is that how it worked? With the I make a lot of money now. There you go. So you're yeah. fine. You're golden, right? <laughs> I think... I think, you know... I mean, obviously, in the 80s, I made a lot more money, and I spent a lot more money. Did you spend a lot? Oh, what, would you, what did you spend it on? Oh, whatever, you know, yeah. limos. Oh, yeah. Champagne, <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah. clothes, whatever. Did you have a bunch of houses, or...? Uh, I had a few houses and a few friends that were quite expensive. Ah! As well. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, these days, I'm a little bit more frugal, but I, I work hard. Yeah. So I, I make a good living. I mean, that's I'm, great. I'm all right, Jack. So you, you, do, you do all DJing. That's what you do now. I mean, I'm not hard up for cash, if right. that's what you want. No, no. <laughs> but you just do DJing. Uh, you going to sing again ever? Uh, I do a bit of everything. I do a radio show in the UK. Okay. A dance radio show. I do a weekly newspaper column for the Express Are newspaper. You? Okay. Um, I play Scrabble occasionally. I'm a very good cook. <laughs> so you, uh, <laughs> you're very busy. So you're kind of like the Martha Stewart or the Larry King of England. Um, I just kind of think that. I think you get. <laughs> I don't know. That, I don't know if that's even accurate. But... I think you get to a point in your career where you have to sort of do other things. I mean, you can't always rely on what you did before. Right. You know, because the 80s... I think Bowie gone. taught us we have to reinvent ourselves. Exactly. Bowie yeah. taught us that. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm a big, I'm a big Bowie fan. I do it on you, a weekly basis. Are you ready for the five yeah. questions? Five questions with Bowie. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, this, is, this is geography, the first question. What U.S. state... Uh, you're familiar with a lot with the states in the United States? This might be tough, because you're from... Yeah. What state is known as the Peach State? Little Richard. <laughs> is, that your, is that your final? Oh, it's Georgia, isn't it? Georgia, Georgia there, you go. there you go. <laughs> True or false, I am actually wearing more makeup than you are right now. You're probably wearing more foundation. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say... Today, true. I'm wearing, yeah, I'm wearing a little more today. <laughs> All right, this is tough. <laughs> this is tough. Uh, Robert Goulet is uh, my favorite Christmas card because that's the one I received. What color? Look at him. What color is he? Th he's thinking of a color right now. It's definitely green. Green? Green. With a political figure on. I think. Money. I think it's a lot of money. Sky blue. Oh, that's okay. That was tough. Why is he here in the sky blue? I don't know. I just, I didn't want you to get you're all the... You're cheating. I'm cheating. <laughs> all right, this is what your favorite question. Besides war being stupid, <laughs> name three other things that are stupid. George Bush. George Bush, okay. <laughs> M&M's homophobia. Okay. That's the All right. One. Okay. But he's also quite cute as well. He's cute. Yeah. <laughs> he's singing. He's singing at the Grammys, I think, with Elton John. They're going to do "Don't Let Your Sun Go Down on Me," right? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> I need one more. Um, one more thing. Something that's stupid. Um, <laughs> trying to teach a donkey to break dance. It's stupid. Couldn't agree with that. 
And finally, uh, when I first heard Karma Chameleon back in the 80s, I was like 12 or so, you know, what did I think? <laughs> did I think you were singing Karma Chameleon, Come On Chameleon, or Connor Chameleon? Probably Come On a Chameleon. Come On a Chameleon? Yeah. <laughs> say, that's say, Do not encourage him. Do not encourage him. Let's see what I thought it was. Comma, 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 chameleon. Comma! Comma, chameleon. We can't accept that, but you did very, very well. Nice meeting you, and you'll be back later for Yambo with the pretty girl. <laughs> Amanda Detmer, and she's talking to Craig when we come back.